My name is William H. Thomason. I'm the mayor of the city of Litchfield since April the 1st, 1995. Typical day, uh, I get up and walk early in the morning, get my mind refreshing, and think about it, walk a couple miles, and then go through my regular schedule by going to the city hall. I get there around 7.45 each morning, five days a week. I stay there from an hour and a half to two hours. Then I come to my other business, was as agency manager for Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance Company. Has some projects that I'm trying to complete in the next two and a half years, like expansion of the aquatic park for parking. We'll increase it approximately 100 parking spots. Also trying to build the baseball park and also building a, a pavilion or not a pavilion but a public works building at the transfer station. These are some of the things that I'm going to try to accomplish in the next couple of years. Right now I have not made my decision whether I'm going to run for re-election. I've got a couple more years after this to decide on it. Well. I'd like to see um, the next mayor have business skills in order to take some type of being in the business community. I know anybody can do it, anybody can be elected to it, but you need to have some business skills and some computer skills. You need to have all of that pertaining to, to this. Balancing the budget is the main thing and have competent people around you just like we have uh, three different ladies that is involved in our financial structure of the city government. I have a certified public accountant, which, you know, I think that you should, if you're going to be in business, you should have your own personal account, and which I do. She's a CPA. She's passed the, the credentials and has the, the name tag or the plaque out there she's certified and then I have two other ladies I have a like a purchasing agent that goes over all the bills to watch what it go what goes on then we also have the city clerk that she also is involved in it so then I have department heads and stuff like that overseeing each section of the government we have people over the garbage we have people over the the street department, we have different things. The aquatic center, I have a lady that's got her blue, uh, Red Cross certificates that's over. So I think if we do a good job looking after it, we have a tourism. And the tourism is really uh, doing well. That's under Elsa Johnson. There is no law that, to say that you have to post these license in front of anything. I do have mine posted here in this office, and uh, what we also, Kim Souter and I both sign every license that's going, because if a person pays his tax, I feel we have a responsibility to sign each one, each license. Well, several years ago, well, a few years ago, uh, David Bennett, who was chairman of the Industrial Foundation, and Dudley Cooper, is a coordinator for the Industrial Foundation and myself traveled to Hayward, California to convince the, this factory because they were looking for another place to move out of California and come here. And we feel you have to do it through recruitment and you have, may have to travel some. TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, we have them that help us out because they're looking to provide electricity and they give us grants and so forth like that, small grants in order to pay our traveling expenses and stuff to different areas. But they do help us in recruiting. So you have to have a lot of different individuals. Even the state has people that ended looking for our areas. If you got the access of the WK Parkway and our railroad spurs and stuff like this, then these are the things that they're looking for to how they bring in their raw material. The Little Caesar's going into half of the BBs 
chain down here where it was BB's where, where used to be. Used to be and half of it, and they still have hopes, the owner has hope one day to bring Arby's here, but till they can work that thing out with McDonald's, there's nothing going to happen on it. And I'd like to see it come, but let's just, Little Caesar will be good for the community and everything. Just right, he owns, also owns rallies down there. Everybody and, uh, said that they wouldn't, huh? but that's where we worked on that to bring that here, because we were very lucky you know, the, he had that, and I took him up. The city owned that. The city and the Industrial Foundation owned that building, and we sold it to them for $200,000.